wasn't sure where the knife was and I was like, oh, I want the knife. Anyway, got this Nielsen letter in the mail, first class, which is the uh, produced and radio TV servings for over 50 years. And it's got a dress, normal letter on the front, first class stamp. And it's got a window on the back and I think that's a dollar. So if you were ever going to ensnare an American, you put money in the mail, which I don't think is legal, by the way. It's, it's certainly not recommended. You're not supposed to cash in the mail. Yep, brand new $1 bill. So, um, thank you, Niels. Oh my God, there's $2. Oh, shit, I gotta read this now. This is basically, this is, they're, they're paying me to do something. Uh, who is Nielsen for one of the 50 years Nielsen has measured what people watch on television and listen to on the radio and buy in stores? Oh, I guess I want me to do a, um, like a, a survey thing. Well, fuck, they already paid me. Two brand new, are they consecutive? They're not consecutive, uh, serial numbers. Oh, shit, I just had to open that. Keep an eye out for your mailbox, boys. Also, keep an eye out for the side of your driveway about 50 feet up in the bushes. In fact, I took a picture of it, sent it to pasta because I couldn't believe it. So there's my driveway, there's my garbage cans, there's the thing. And then over here, way up the driveway was this like brown stick that looks like all the other brown sticks. And it's this, and I know exactly what it is because I ordered it back in February and it is March 10th. And I was, I literally emailed them yesterday going, where the fuck is this thing you sent me? And I'm not 100% sure no, I am 100% sure this was delivered. It couldn't have been in the woods this whole time. It couldn't have been in the woods this whole time. This is talking about fucking Valentine's Day. This is talking about February 14th, March 10th. There's no, I've taken the quad down. I'm pretty sure I've walked down my driveway. I would notice this. But yeah, this is the extension for Princess Pasta's pole. Luckily wrapped mostly in tape here. She knows I'm talking about her pole. That is for sure fake. Oh, she thinks it's fake. Baby, that shit's real money. Look at that, real money. Oh, so I'm unboxing your pole now. Camera's on my head, you wanna see? Wait. I... 100% a fake dollar. Tell me it's not fake, tell me. Tell me it's real, tell me it's real, because it's not, there's no way. There's no fucking way. That's fake. Show me the fake dollar. Show Canada, me baby. The fake. Show me the money. I have never seen that movie, but I've always wanted to say that. Show it to me. Give it to me. What the fuck, she says. She says, what the fuck? Yeah, baby, I'm gonna uh, use this as an opportunity. Yeah, baby, America, what? You got a problem with it? We just get money in the mail. They should give it away for free. Why is inflation so bad? I don't know. Um, <laughs> how do I open this now? Um, it's uh, this is still solid. The tube is still solid here. There's water. That, this is the one part the tape wasn't touching, and it's soaked here. I, I guess I got to attack and end. It's my new blade. Changed the blade yesterday. That, and that's why you have a new blade. I basically almost got the fucking cardboard. Okay, so. How bad is this gonna be? Oh, it's in its own plastic bag, that's good. Okay, so, if you don't know, Princess Pasta likes to use the exercise shaft and also as a pole dancer. Or, well, let's see, COVID sort of ruined pole dancing for everyone. No one went to any studios, so, oh, it got rusty. There's some rust in the bottom of this. Nope, there's some rust in the bag. All right, hold on, we gotta get this thing out of here. Basically, it's hard to go to a pole studio when everyone's going to kill you when they breathe on you. Well, so you gotta touch it like a lot. And you can't clean the poles because then they get slippery. There is two little specks of dirt. Face reveal. There you go. So pasta, link to X poll. Um, I never got the email. Here's the thing I checked and said, wait, you're supposed to send me an email when it shipped. And I never got like a tracking number. So I never got an email. For the tracking number. Now I have her pole set up in the basement. The goal being to set her pole up somewhere else in this house, I'm gonna need a longer extension because right now it has like nine feet total. And that I think is three feet long. So that'll bring it up to 12 feet total. Unless I take away that little one foot, uh, son of a bitch. And then it's 11 feet total. 
Yeah. Anyway, these aren't expensive. It's like $60. And they're real. They're not hollow either. Well, can I blow this? Hold on. Totally can blow that. They are hollow. Never mind. I lied. It is hollow, but it is a heavy gauge, and I got it in chrome, and we're doing the um, Olympic size. There's supposed to be, like, com there's competitive pole dancing. I don't think it's Olympic competitive pole dancing, but it's, it's pole dancing. Oh, that reminds me. I got to give this to Dan. Give it to Dan. Put in dishwasher. So, yeah. No, that was, um, that tube was, I have no idea. It says February 14th. Let me get this straight. You can't have universal health care. You can't have living wages for people who are disabled. Mm -hmm. You can't have simple things like that. But you get mailed two American dollars in the mail, like for nothing. I don't understand what what is the what is the tactic here? What are they? If they took that two dollars that they sent to every household, there's there's your fucking. There's healthcare. I don't. I'm not a politician. I do, don't put this on the unboxing channel because people are gonna be like, "Wow, no, just a pretty face." Seriously, delete this. But that's stupid. Oh god. I have to pee again. What the hell? I shouldn't have broke from the seal. I broke the seal. I, it's just like drinking. You break the seal. I shouldn't. That's the last time I fucking listen to you. Go pee. Oh, you're better. Ding 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 ding. No. Fuck. Pasta, um, edit this part out if you want. If you don't want to, it's kind of funny. Um, speaking of pasta, she will be back in America soon, and I cannot for the life of me find my fucking toothpaste squeezers. These are amazing, and I haven't had one in a while, and I have a brand new roll of toothpaste, so I can't demo it. But you, you stick the little slot in the back of the toothpaste, you know, the, 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 the tube. You put it in this, and you slide it in here, in this little spring-loaded fucking platform here. Actually, you could use this as like a nipple clamp thing. You slide this in here so that the whole toothpaste tube is here. Then you twist it and it starts pulling down the toothpaste tube. And then it's got a nice base. It's not very heavy. I wish it was a little bit heavier. But if you get the toothpaste tube down about one third, this will stand up and hold the toothpaste tube vertically. And I got a three pack because I sell them in three packs. So yeah, it's from the Nielsen rating system, which I've heard of because it's been in movies. It's famous. And I got a survey. They paid me $2 to take a survey that I didn't agree to pay to. And it wasn't even addressed to me. It was addressed to the resident of my town. So I'm a resident of my town. So I got $2. This is what freedom tastes like, baby. Yeah, you may die of a broken arm and not get over to the hospital. But occasionally, you got two bucks to give to a stripper. It's stripper money. That is so stripper. Ignoring the fact that there's a pole here. No one's taking off their, their clothes for money. Although... If I was going to offer a girl money to take her clothes off, whatever it was going to be is now $2 higher. America! Fuck yeah! I ordered something from Northern Tool and I don't remember what it was. Oh, these are the, these are going to be the things, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is going to show up from Northern Tool? And also, what the fuck company leaves this shit at the bottom of my fucking FedEx! Motherfucking FedEx. There's no snow out there, FedEx. There's no snow. Drive up my hill, you lazy fucks. So I can't yell at all FedEx, because FedEx is a, um, it's a, a franchise like McDonald's is. Like FedEx doesn't hire their drivers. You purchase a route from FedEx for, for $50,000 and then you get paid for each delivery and you get to hire your own drivers. So if you're an asshole and you hire the cheapest shit drivers to make the most money because you're owning a franchise, you'll have the cheapest shit service. So anyway, these things are, I had a hardest fucking time finding these in my um, Amazon purchases because they're not called carts and it's not called, I literally searched the word black because I knew they were black, but I have four of these and now I have another two because two of them have been permanently affixed under the fortes in my sunroom for a while now. There. And I'd love to take them off there, but they raise it up just perfect. And when I got to get into that closet, like this, no one, no one's going into the bathroom here. Like no one's like, I got to pee and I'm going to, I'm going to go through this door instead of like here. But the closet one is important that I able to move it. And it's like, you can't do anything else. 
So I left it on the cart and I paid $33 for these carts each when they were new. And I can't think of building a better lifting rolling mechanism for $33 with the, with the caster wheels they use, which are really nice. So I was like, I'll buy another two. Unfortunately, because everything's going up and now the gas prices are going up, it means oil prices are gonna go up. That means plastic prices are gonna go up. These are $45 a piece now. So I bought two more instead of like four more. Cause that's 90 fucking dollars. And I think they had charged for shipping because <clears throat> rather large box. Anyway, so when I'm moving speakers around in the basement, uh, these things are a godsend. And if you can't tell from the weird shape, they're interlocking. So you can buy an infinite number of these and link them together um, in either this orientation or that orientation and they have the little divots to stack. So you could be like, and they hold 300 pounds a piece. So that will hold 600 pounds. Anyway, that's my unboxing so far. Wait, we have one last little, um, the love of God, tip strippers better than that. Come on, just, you know in Canada, we don't have dollar bills and you can't like throw a fucking toonie at a dancer. So <laughs> they'd be getting fives. <laughs> I did not know that, but now that I do, I would definitely put like a little change purse on my, I'd want the, the loonies and the toonies and you just hand them to me and I would put them in my little, I would do like a sexy slide and oh my God, girls have a change slot. That would get you real sick, don't do that. I have to end this unboxing before I incriminate myself any further. Thank you for the $2 Nielsen rating system and I will thank you for Princess Pasta for guest starring and I will see you all next time when I... Got a package delivered yesterday and um, it just, it's not right because I saw the option and there was no like quick way to like say like, no, I don't need that tomorrow because I ordered a bunch of new GoPros because people are complaining about the 4 case. The uh, two, 27, tw two, well, they're, they're complaining, so I got new GoPros. And one of the things that was on Amazon that I ordered were lenses for the Hero 9, which might fit the 8. We'll find out. And um, these were like delivering the same day. And I'm like, that's nice. But a fucking guy in a Ford Focus had to show up on my driveway like at 7.30 at night just to hand it to me. Where the hell's my knife? A clean laser coming, so I'm straightening up. So one thing about cleaning ladies, that's nice. If you, because I have them, and yes, I pay them, but I clean up before they come or else they'll just move things, clean under it and put the things back. And I need a good excuse to like actually clean up. Live streaming doesn't do it for me anymore. Anyway, pasta, link these Tiffin, T-I-F-F-E-N filters for the GoPro Hero 9. Um, this was a, not a cheap kit. This was an actual, Echo, read notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Skechers Summits men will arrive today. Ooh, new shoes. I actually already got a set of Skechers Summits men because they match these. Only those have no laces. And I ordered a big set and they, just, they were too roomy. There were 12 wides were like, I'm standing in them. So the actual cover for the lens cover case has plastic over it. These are neutral density filters, Fill me up. which we, I don't know if that's gonna work. Hold on, let me see if pasta's, I, I, I was talking about liver wished and, and that, so let's see if she. It's way too much, way too much. Also grape, that's fucking gross. I will accept strawberry, not grape. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm doing an unboxing. Um, give me your reasons for not accepting grape jelly, because or grape jam, this is grape jam. I want to know. I got to know inside my head, please. Let me take this off. Because these covers, we've got an ND8. Oh, you know, you have to use the 9 because you literally have to unscrew it. I didn't realize. Because I haven't had a, a Hero a Hero 9 and 10 apparently are different. Like the Hero 8, there's just a lens. That's it. There's just a glass in the frame. And this is an actual threaded. No, it's not threaded. There's like, it's pop on. It must pop on and off the, the, the lens on the Hero 9 and 10, which I guess is good 
because that means you can get a filter right in there. So I actually bought these two and a $100 ultra wide like fisheye lens to use. I'm actually going to put the uh, microfiber towel on top of them so don't pop out. So anyway, yeah, this is like a $60 filter set and we'll see how they work on the Hero 9 and 10. They should be the same. And that's the first time I've actually known that the, the lens pops off. I didn't do any research, it's just I own an eight. I want to upgrade, the nine was 350 and the 10 was 500 with an extra battery. So maybe this channel will get better quality video when I switch to the nine. Oh, pasta has responded. Um, it's fucking gross. <laughs> that's all I have for you. Grape juice, disgusting. Grape jam, fucking nasty. Don't even get me started on pea soup. Oh my uh. God, when I was three years old, my aunt made me eat all of my pea soup. And then she made me walk somewhere with her and I got blisters on my feet. And now I always relate sore feet and blisters to pea soup. And I, I can't, I can't. And then the great oh, childhood trauma, emotional damage. All right, I'm gonna end this unboxing with that story. Um, number one, I can see the association, but you should probably go see a psychiatrist to fix that. Although I will say pea soup is not my favorite soup, but they do get to put a giant piece of ham bone in there, which I know now in your current state of affairs would not be the most appetizing thing. But I, I gotta defend the grape jam. I, I, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna sneak some grape jam onto like a breakfast sandwich. You'd be like, mm, this is good, what'd you do to this? I'm gonna be like, it's some grape jam. And you're gonna be like, oh my God, you've changed my life. Again, Steve, and that's how it's gonna be. She doesn't have time to respond, I'm gonna end this video. Anyway, I'm gonna toast more bread and put more grape, Concord grape jam on it. And by the way, I can't find these squeezy bottles anywhere at the stores I shop. And I'm not gonna get a fucking, I mean, I, it, it, I already get a knife out to like smooth it out, but I, I don't, I shouldn't have to, and I can't find it in a squeezy bottle. Everything should be in a squeezy bottle.